While talks are going on in Bhubaneswar between the Odisha government and interlocutors selected by the CPI Maoist to resolve the hostage crisis in Kandamal, my colleague Sampad Mahapatra and I are being led into an undisclosed location, possibly to meet the hostages. The difficult trek through the forest, the narrow, dark, moving forward, uneven path. I'm not sure how many kilometers we've trekked through the forest, but given the fact that sundown is going to be soon, I don't think we can return back to town today. Our Maoist guides hadn't prepared us for this journey. And this endless walk feels as if we were hostages ourselves, with no sense of time, distance or direction. The difficult crossing of a stream. The classical guerrilla trick of leading guests into their hideout is to lead you through tracks which is impossible to retrace back. As the afternoon slowly dies, our reserve of drinking water runs out. Exhausted and parched, we move on. This is the time of the year when forest patches are burned for farming by tribal villagers. The heat of the fire is exhausted. The smoke dying embers offer. We've been trekking through the jungles for the last five hours and our guide is still not sure how long it's going to take to reach our destination. By midnight we reach a village and are allowed to rest for the night. We are all hungry, thirsty and a bit annoyed. We can't ask questions, and as we know quite well, we'll be given no answers. After trekking through half a night, we had forced our guide to let us rest in a village. But before the first light, he woke us up, and we are back again on the jungle track. As we inch closer to the Maoist camp, we are asked to switch off our cameras for a bit. Further up, two armed Maoists greet us with a lal salam, or the red salute, and lead us into an area with huge rocks. Seems like the classic finish, exhausted, uncertain, sitting on hot rocks under the scorching afternoon sun. And we are very close to where the two Italian hostages have been kept in the hideout of Odessa Maoist chief Savia Sachipanda's camp. Seven hours of nocturnal trek through jungle track and another four hours this morning finally brought us to Savia Sachipanda, the chief of the CPI Maoist of Odessa unit who is also responsible for the abduction of the two Italian nationals which happened on the 14th of this month. Now, Savia Sachi, uh, why did you abduct the Italian nationals? Some people, uh, foreign or national tourists, including our state and national governments, hmm. they are trying to project, they have been trying to project tribal as a commodity and in name of that, they are opening liquor shops in the tribal centers and taking photographs of the tribals. And in this way, mm. for, for these, they are, uh, you may say, they are just looking tribals just like monkeys or anything mm -hmm. in the inside zoo. For a while now, the issue of intrusive tourism in tribal India has been making headlines. Allegations that tourists, both foreign and Indian, even security forces, lure the poor men and women with money or food and make them do their bidding. Bosusco Paolo and Claudia Colangelo are accused of taking objectionable pictures of tribal women. 54-year-old Paolo has spent 21 years in Urissa, illegally running a travel agency in Puri on a tourist visa. This is 65-year-old ethnicity expert Claudia Colangelo's first visit to India. He met Paolo at his travel agency. They say they came here with a driver and local guide to take photos and notes on the tribal way of life. The driver and guide have been already released. We saw the pictures they took on the camera and the Maoists have seized. We found nothing objectionable. But the Maoists insist their activities were suspicious. We know this is not just suspicion. This is also political compulsion. Tribals are their strongest support base. And to retain that hold, Maoists actively support their causes. Be it the displacement of tribals by mines and mineral giants, their anger over lack of development, or even the current issue about their alleged exploitation by tourists. Now, don't you think that you, uh, your organization, have been or has also been exploiting tribals? And they are exploiting, you say that you know by clicking pictures, but aren't you exploiting uh, you know their underdevelopment? People are coming for two causes. One is the the organization is taking their economic issues. Second is <laughs> This is the state. It, uh, the state, uh, from since a long time, the state has been in, uh, suppressing the tribals and the poor peoples. Mm. 
it is not uh, that uh, our guns are powerful, mm. so people are coming and uh, we are teaching them about Maoism. They don't know anything about Maoism. It is due to the state repression, people are attracted towards our movement. So if the state, there will be no state repression, so people may not... Uh, Honestly move. speaking, do you think, at least in your area of operation, you will be able to sustain the movement for long? Uh, in our area, we... <coughs> Yes, we, we could sustain the movement by changing our form for organization and form of movement. Mm -hmm. We have to change our yeah. style of functioning. The abduction, we realize, is also an attempt to buy a ceasefire window from the government that stepped up the offensive in recent months. This ceasefire, security forces have told us, provides time to the Maoists to escape and regroup. Except fissures between various Maoist camps has come as a sharp blow. The Andhra Maoists have killed a policeman almost derailing talks between the Oresa Maoists and the government. The Ministry of Home Affairs says Sabya Sachi Panda kidnapped the Italians without clearance from the Naxal Central Command to make the state government give in to certain local demands. The lack of coordination has backfired. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.